people in the crowd, I had this dream to climb uh, Mount Everest. And I was a little kid growing up, like I said, over by Boone. And uh, mountains weren't something we had a lot of. So I had to figure out a way to bring that dream of climbing Mount Everest a little bit closer. And I did that by breaking it down. Now, after I graduated from high school, um, I didn't have the chance to go to college right away, so I went down to Des Moines, and I joined the local labor union, uh, Local 177, and I spent about two years on a concrete crew, uh, pouring concrete. And I saved up all my money so I could go to college, and after about two years of doing that, I went up to Iowa State. And now you guys should know, Iowa State has the highest funded collegiate climbing club anywhere in the U.S. So the Mountaineering Club at Iowa State, they take trips all around um, the U.S. and around the world. And so I started climbing with these guys. And uh, the first thing we had to do was learn how to climb high mountains. This is actually a photograph on a mountain down in Mexico. And after we learned how to get up to high elevation, we had to learn how to climb high mountains that were covered in snow. You know, just step by step. And this is a photograph on Mount Rainier, looking off across towards Mount St. Helens. And after we learned to climb on snow, we had to learn how to climb on moving snow. And moving snow is just a glacier. It's a snowfield that stays there all year round, but because it's always there, gravity starts to pull it down the hill. And as gravity starts to do that, parts of the glacier get stuck as other parts continue to slide forward. And where that happens, these big cracks open up. And we call those cracks crevasses. Now it continues to snow over the cracks, and so as you're walking off across the glacier, you may think you're standing on firm ground, but you may find out that you're just standing on a snow bridge. And it may not be strong enough to support your body weight. In fact, just after I took this photo, John, the climber here, he broke through that snow bridge and fell down into the crevasse. Now on this glacier, the crevasses are about 100 feet deep. On Mount Everest, they're going to be four or 500 feet deep. So to protect ourselves, we've tied ourselves together with a little single half-inch cord. And the idea here is if anybody breaks into the snow bridge, uh, the others can catch him with the rope and pick him up and continue on with the climb. So at this point, I was up in Iowa State and I was studying. And as you can see, I, was, I was, um, had this little travel business going, so I was taking other students on these trips uh, all around the world. But I was missing some school, uh, a little bit too much school. And what I realized I was going to have to do was I, I realized I was going to have to spend about 10 to 20 hours in the library researching and studying for every one hour that I spent out in the field climbing. There were just so many things I had to learn in order to be able to climb a mountain like Mount Everest. So I had to get creative. And I had to figure out a way to train for climbing Mount Everest here in Iowa. 